Hello everyone, I'm your host CH and I'd like to welcome you to the Lian Lee 2022 Digital Expo. It's been over six months since we've given you an update on the development of our products. During this time, we've been busy working with you guys, the community, on refining and improving your experience with our products. I'm excited to show you today the latest updates to the 2022 lineup of cases, cooling fans, accessories, and software. For this two-part series, the first video is a preview of the progress we've made with two of our cases, the Lanquil 3 and the V3000 Plus. And in our second video, we'll be introducing design updates on the Unifan SL120 Infinity, presenting the new Unifan P28 and Streamer Plus V2, as well as giving you a tour of the new version of L-Connect, which received a powerful upgrade. Let's not wait any longer. Come join me for a review of the design changes and new features on two of our very anticipated cases. Opening our 2022 Digital Expo is the Lanquil 3. As with all our products to be presented today, the Lanquil 3 is still in its prototype phase and design changes are still taking place. Starting with the exterior of the case, you'll notice that the side aluminum bars along the front panel are now continuous from top to bottom. Other than an aesthetic change, these also serve a purpose. They are the door handles for the left and right side tempered glass panels. Pulling up on the handles like so will pop open the panels. Moving to the inside of the case, behind the front panel is the multi-position fan radiator bracket. While similar to our previous design and appearance, a couple of additions took place, such as a handle latch mechanism to release the bracket from its anchored position, as well as a single thumb screw at the top to secure the bracket in place. In the main chamber, the top, front, and bottom of the case can fit a 360mm radiator. In addition, mounting points for a distro plate or reservoir pump combos have been included, and drain port on the top radiator bracket for easy filling. Depending on your desired configurations, here are the updated radiator and fan clearance to take into consideration when planning your build. At the top, a 280 radiator with two 140mm fans can fit with a total of 57mm of clearance, and an even thicker 360 radiator with three 120mm fans is possible thanks to the offset position of the fan radiator bracket, allowing clearance of the ram sticks. At the bottom, users can mount a 360mm radiator with three 120mm fans with a total of 83mm in thickness clearance. At the front, either a 360 radiator with three 120mm fans or a 280 radiator with three 140mm fans can fit without a distribution plate beside the motherboard and with the front bracket located towards the front and fans mounted on the exterior of the bracket. Users have up to 80 millimeter of inner clearance to the edge of the PSU shroud or 55 millimeter to the edge of a bottom mounted 360 radiator. With a distro plate, this dimension is reduced to 30 millimeter. At the bottom, above the PSU shroud, a new removable bracket has been created for easy mounting of hardware outside of the case and can also be adjusted towards the front or the back to either give more clearance for tubing at the back or a thicker fan radiator combo at the front. You'll also notice the top of this bracket features removable plates which feature mounting holes for either SSDs or pump reservoir mounting brackets. Beside the motherboard, the cable pass-through bar can be adjusted. By loosening a screw behind the motherboard tray, the bar can slide to adapt for wider motherboards and let the user customize the curve of their cables passing through. New large grommets have been implemented for the passage of bulky cables like the Strimmer Plus. At the bottom of the case in the PSU shroud compartment, the design of the storage trays have been revised to include modularity. Each unused HDD SSD tray can be individually removed. This increases the gap between the cage and PSU shroud top panel for better airflow without entirely sacrificing the storage capacity of the Lanquil 3. On the right side of the case, the shroud panel is now full mesh to improve airflow. With a removable mounting plate for up to three SSDs and recesses for SATA cable routing, above the PSU shroud and behind this tempered glass panel, you'll be familiar with the Lanquil's cable management cover doors 
helping keep the look of the PC clean all around. The three hinge doors now feature a magnetic latch, making them easier to open while still removable for unrestricted access. Behind the motherboard tray, eight Velcro straps are found. Each Velcro strap features an upright brace, which helps arrange large bundles of cables while making sure they are not overly tightened. Four small straps are located around the motherboard's CPU socket opening to help route the CPU and fan cables, and another small one at the very bottom for shorter 24-pin cables, while three large ones are located closer to the front of the case for the remainder of the cables. Each large strap has two layers to help better organize cables and make future upgrades or maintenance easier. The first layer can be used for the front I.O. cables, and the second layer for cables that connect to the motherboard which can also be separated into one additional layer to make cable management easy and aesthetically pleasing. In addition, the space between the long straps has been thought out to make sure a UniHub or Streamer Plus hub can fit snugly. The Lanqua 3 will be available in an RGB and non-RGB version, both equipped with three 140mm PWM fans and both with onboard controls for either light effects or speed. You can expect the Lanqua 3 to be available around May. Next up, we have the V3000 Plus. As you may remember, the V3000 Plus is our largest chassis capable of hosting two systems, a wide range of cooling configurations, multiple PSUs, a large amount of storage, and all of this without skimping on looks and build quality. Since our last look at this case during our 2021 Digital Expo, a few modifications have been made to this prototype, and we are getting closer to the final design here are some of the updates brought to this case. Starting from the outside, the first thing you'll notice is the front and top panels. Both mesh panels are combined with aluminum accent plates, which unifies the look across the top and front of the case and increases the sturdiness of these panels. Surrounding the case, all mesh panels have been optimized to provide the best airflow possible. On the right side, the main side panel is now made of tempered glass, thanks to the case optimized airflow, which makes support for side fans no longer necessary. Both the left and right side glass panels are secured in place by a push lock mechanism, making them easier to open and maintaining a minimalistic look. And behind the front panel, a multi-position fan radiator bracket can be quickly removed and flipped or mounted more towards the front to accommodate for different radiator and fan configurations. At the top of the case, the front panel I.O. received a quick refresh our community was quick to let us know that the remote control option was not needed, so we opted for a revised style like this. While the HD audio and mic ports are dedicated to the main system only, each system has its own USB Type-C to USB Type-A and LED control button. On the right side, a switch allows the power and reset buttons to quickly toggle from the main system to the secondary one. At the front, located all the way down the front panel, a discrete Lanley logo is projected onto the desk. Below the main chamber in the PSU shroud compartment, you'll find two drive cages that can each support four SSDs or HDDs. Each drive cage can be relocated beside the motherboard in the main chamber to provide clearance for long radiators in the PSU shroud area without sacrificing storage capacity. And for users looking to swap their storage drive on the go, each drive cage can be upgraded with hot swap modules as an additional accessory. Moving behind the main chamber, four removable SSD trays have been aligned at the center of the case and features a toolless SSD mounting design. We'll be fine tuning the design of the V3000 Plus in the following weeks, but you can expect this case to be available around the month of May. This wraps up the first part of the Lian Li 2022 Digital Expo, which covers new case updates. Make sure to check out the second part for cool updates on the Unifan SL Infinity, new product presentation of the Unifan P28, and the Strimmer Plus V2, as well as an intro of the new L Connect 3 and details on how to join this new software beta testing program. In addition, Thanks to ASRock for sponsoring the giveaway prizes with an Intel i9-12900K and ASRock Z690 PG Velocita motherboard, which support DDR5 memory at 6400 MHz, surface mount tech PCIe 5.0 slots, and blazing PCIe Gen 5 M.2. Make sure to click the Gleam link in the description for details on how to enter. 
Don't forget to leave a comment below and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter for the latest updates. I'm your host, CH. Thank you for watching.